Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a very highly requested new what's for dinner. I am so excited about this week and I know you guys are too and I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, every single recipe this week, every single dinner came from the crock pot and y'all they were so delicious and I cannot wait for you guys to see them and recreate them for you and your family. You are going to love them. And if this is your first time stopping by then welcome. I'm so glad that you did. We do lots of cooking over here on this channel and I would love for you to join our family. So before you leave be sure you hit that subscribe button. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you are so excited for all of the crock pot recipes and let's go ahead and jump into right, it. So tonight for dinner we are making crock pot cream cheese chicken chili that is a tongue twister but i think it's going to be so good and so simple so i have every single ingredient that we're going to use laid out right here we're going to do two chicken breasts one block of cream cheese one can of black beans corn and rotel i have the um fire roasted so i'm just going to use those plus i think it will give it a little heat which you guys know we don't mind and then you're going to do one packet of ranch seasoning so it's about two to three tablespoons if you have like the big container we're going to add some chili powder and some cumin and that is literally it the recipe does call for onion powder Obviously, you guys know we don't have that here, so I'm just kind of skipping that step. I think it'll be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all of this in the crock pot and then we will get it cooking for dinner tonight. So I will of course have this recipe linked down below for you guys with all of the exact measurements, but I did wanna mention for the black beans, you do wanna go ahead and rinse and drain those before you add them in. And then for the corn and the rotel, you're gonna add those in liquid and all. So do not drain those two. Okay, so now that we have everything in the crock pot, I'm just gonna pop a lid on and we're gonna cook this on low for about six to eight hours. And I'll check it occasionally, kind of giving it a good stir. Okay, y'all, so this cream cheese chicken chili has been cooking all day long. I think it's been about six hours right now. I'm pretty sure it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the chicken out, shred it, and then pop it back in and let it cook for about 20 more minutes while Monkey and I make some cornbread. We thought that sounded really good to go along with it. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what it looks like. It smells so delicious and I will say the cream cheese like started to curdle earlier on I was kind of like nervous about it but as it kept cooking it got really creamy and normal so if you make this and you get you see that like don't be scared because I promise it like corrected itself so anyways let me flip you guys around and show you what it looks like it looks really really good doesn't it heck yeah it does this is right up my alley I know you're gonna love it Okay, so does this not look so good? And you can kind of see what I was saying like about it curdling, but it's really not bad. Like it totally corrected itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this chicken out. Is curdling the right word, by the way? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and take this chicken out, shred it, and then we'll pop it back in. Okay, let's pop it back in. Don't we want to give it a little taste first? Yeah, try it, try it. Oh no. It's hot? Mm-hmm. We'll try and leave a piece on there for sampling. Okay, now give it a big stir. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right? Yes, it is right. Oh, steam gel out. He left him out a little bite so he can try it while we make the cornbread. This is so hot. Edible. It's so hot. My eyes are watering. And I don't know why my pickle jalapenos can't just be inside. <laughs> if you'd learn to get a smaller jar. That's not economical. Okay, my man over here is gonna make me some cornbread. Special cornbread. Special cornbread. Because <laughs> we add, we bring in the heat and the cheese. That's right. Uh, so We're just making Jiffy cornbread, by the way. <laughs> yes, it's not like homemade or anything. How many, how much jalapeno do you want? How, do you, how hot do you want? I feel like that tablespoon is perfect. Just that? Yeah. You sure? You can do a few more. Let's do like two more. Bucky said he's making it in here because he did not feel like 
cleaning the muffin pan. Nope. Y'all know how it is trying to clean those things. <laughs> They're terrible to clean. So we're gonna just kinda, you know. Give rough chop. Just give these a nice little chop. I feel like you're being really aggressive with that knife. It's not the sharpest knife, you know? Bunky, those things are like softer than marshmallows. It's okay. And then I was making another recipe earlier today, and I had some leftover cheese, so I went ahead and shredded it. So we're gonna use that and dump it into our cornbread. So we're having spicy jalapeno, jalapeno cheddar cornbread. Yes. And it's gonna be good. I was nearing the end of its shelf life. <laughs> what? We're yeah. Gonna, we're gonna break it up a little bit. Go ahead and stir this a little bit. I bought that like. Um, early, like almost pre-quarantine. Are you sure that's what it was? I think so. I thought we bought it after Thanksgiving last year. That could be a possibility When too. it was like 50 cents a box. I'm pretty sure. And you know I would remember. I know you would. Should I go ahead and put in this cheese now? Or once I add some milk I mean, egg? you do your milk and egg first. Yeah? I'm gonna go ahead and spray your pan. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, just kidding. You know how I do. Get this stuff in the oven. This is all that's holding us up from dinner. I'm dumping this cheese in here. Okay. Because I'm not actually going to get a... I need a third of a cup of milk. Okay. I'm going to eyeball it. Oh, okay. You're going to eyeball this? Yeah. But he, cornbread is kind of particular. Oh, no. I got a mark. I see it. Okay. Why is our sink being so loud? See? Look at the shadow there. You yeah, see? Yeah, I can see it. Perfect, right? Yeah. Sure, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna put everything in there now. Okay. Do you want to? Well, no. I'll just get as much of this juice in there as I can. All right, and then we stir. I'm always generous with my spray. Uh -huh. I that this pan's the right size. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks a little big. Oh no, it's gonna get there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> well, here, let me tell you something. I love some cornbread. I always forget how easy it is to make. I know, there was literally, I mean, if we hadn't added the extra stuff, Two ingredients, an egg and some milk. So good. In a box of Jiffy. <laughs> okay, how long does it cook for? It says 15 to 20 minutes. Oh my goodness, Monkey, we're Give, never gonna eat. Given that that was a relatively shallow and flat pan, we're gonna go with 15 to start. Okay. Should we let it hang out just another minute? It's probably done, just- I know, but we did put cheese in it. Let's just test it. Just get out and look at nobody it. Nobody likes squishy cornbread. Okay. But nobody likes dry cornbread. I mean, get it out. I think it needs another minute. Let's go ahead and get our stuff out and then we'll get the cornbread out. Okay. <laughs> but maybe you should turn the oven off so it doesn't keep cooking. That's dirty. Y'all, this looks so good. I can't get enough. I'm not kidding when I tell you I could make a crock pot dinner every day and be so happy. And it just makes my life so simple. And versatile. Yes. <laughs> oh! It's hot. Mm -hmm. You want some butter on your cornbread? Yes, please. I kind of want a little drizzle of honey, but I guess that wouldn't really go well with this. No. Oh my, that tastes great. The cornbread does? Mm hmm You gotta just put some cheese and jalapeno in there. Yeah, you do. Mm. Yeah, just let that sit there, it's gonna run. Oh, he was saying that we could have added like jalapenos to the chili to give it like a little more spice. Yeah, cause we like it spicy. And I agree. But other than that, it has great flavor, I think. Mm hmm it's delicious. Very good. Definitely a recipe I would make again. So easy. Chicken is super moist and delicious as well. Yeah. 
and it's almost like I almost want more tomato. I want more tomato. Oh yeah, I can totally see where you would. Yeah. Okay, so that's my thing. You could dump like a can of just chunk diced tomatoes or something in it. In yes. addition to because if you want it to be even just like a little bit soupy, like a little bit more liquid, mm -hmm. have another can of tomatoes would be perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's our that's our take on it. We could doctor it up just a little bit, but overall it was delicious. Yeah, it is good. All right, y'all, so for tonight's Crock-Pot dinner, we are having one of Bunky's favorite dinners ever. I know he is so excited, and so am I, because I love it equally as much. This is like my favorite flavor combo of all time. We are making like beef and broccoli in the Crock-Pot with brown sugar, soy sauce, garlic, sesame oil, like all of my favorite flavors. I honestly cannot wait. We are going to let it cook on low for about four hours. We will add in some broccoli at the very end, let it cook for an additional 30 minutes, and then it will be ready to serve over some yummy rice. Okay, so this recipe actually calls for sirloin steak, so that's what I have right here. We will cut it up into little strips. And then, like I said, this recipe calls for brown sugar, beef broth, sesame oil, soy sauce, garlic, and then it does not call for ginger, but I have this on hand, so I think I'm going to add in just a little squeeze because because I think that will be even more delicious. Like why not, right? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the steak prepared and then we'll add all of this to the crock pot. Okay, so I've got my beef in my crock pot. I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of low sodium soy sauce and then a fourth a cup of brown sugar. And then you wanna use about one cup of beef broth. I have this can which is like 10 ounces. And then you're gonna add in about one tablespoon of sesame oil. I love sesame oil, so I'm just gonna eyeball it because I don't mind if there's a little extra. And then four cloves of garlic, and oh my gosh, that sesame oil and soy sauce already smells so good. And then like I said, I'm just gonna add in a tiny little bit of this ginger paste because why not? And if you don't have this, don't worry about it because the recipe does not even call for it. Okay, we'll give it a good stir and then pop our lid on and check it in about four hours. Hey friends, it has been almost four hours or like right at it. I'm gonna try not to seem y'all out. This smells so good. Bunky and I had a little bite of the steak and it was so tender and flavorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the broccoli cut up. I have my water boiling. Monkey, you're like falling down on the job here. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and cook this rice. And then- um, is Water is boiling. I know. Where's the lid? I'll grab it for you. But will you cut the broccoli up? Uh-huh. Okay, but before the broccoli goes in, we're gonna take about four tablespoons of this cornstarch and mix it with four tablespoons of water. We'll pour that in, and that way it kind of like thickens that liquid up and kind of coats the broccoli and steak a lot better. Just gives a better consistency. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together and pour it in there. Okay, we're actually just gonna start with two and two because we feel like the four is gonna be a lot. I'm not trying to eat cornstarch. Right. Hot. Uh, let's, should we turn this off? No, we gotta let it cook for. Hang, hang on, B. Would you chill? I'm trying to get this in there. <laughs> okay, first in goes our little cornstarch mixture. Slurry. Slurry, as Bucky calls it. You can go ahead and pop that in. Oh. And now the broccoli. I want you to stir that first. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. And that's just gonna thicken up. Uh huh. We probably should have used three, but I think the two's gonna be fine. Okay. Get in there with that spoon and knock that in. <laughs> I can already tell it's thicker than it. Yeah. Okay, add your broccoli. Okay, we're gonna give this about 30 more minutes and then it will be ready and our rice should be done as well. Well, he is amazed at this recipe. I can't believe it. <laughs> it was so simple. You have transported me. 
to my favorite Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Tell me that ain't good. It is so good. The steak is like fall apart. Mm -hmm. I was afraid the steak was gonna be tender because a sirloin isn't like the nicest cut of meat, but. You were afraid it wasn't going to be tender. Correct. Okay. But it is so tender, so flavorful. Oh my goodness. And like the broccoli is kind of like that freshness it needs. Funky. And I like the broccoli not to be soggy. It, yeah, the broccoli is needs, like crunchy. It needs a touch of crunch. You never want soggy broccoli. Mm -mm. Oh my god. All we need is some toasted sesame seeds mm -hmm, on top or mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is definitely a winner for us. I cannot wait for y'all to make it. It is so good. If you love getting Chinese takeout, you'll probably never get it again because you can make it just as easily and it tastes even better if you ask me. And I will say too with the cornstarch, I feel like this is kind of like the perfect liquid consistency. Bunky said it could have been a teeny bit thicker, but start with like two or three and then if you need an extra one, add it in. But I felt like four would probably be a little bit too much. Y'all, so, so, so good, so flavorful. You got something else you want to tell you? I'm not telling them, Bunky, I'm telling you. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe I'll tell them too. The only additional feedback I would like to provide on this is to make sure that you make enough to have leftovers because you're going to want them. <laughs> That's what I'm It's so funny. Mm. I do want to say though, how Bunky was saying like the broccoli being crunchy. Yeah, don't cook it for too long because you don't want it to be salty. It like needs that crunch factor. And I think that makes it so good. That was hot. We didn't leave it in there for 30 minutes at all. It was only like... It was like 15. Yeah. And we were saying you could too add like a red bell pepper maybe even if you wanted to get crazy. Or some carrot. Yeah. This I was mean, delicious. Y'all are going to love it. I don't know if that's like proper Chinese preparation of this food, but... That's a bunky preparation. Mm-hmm. And it would probably... I think, I think some um, red bell pepper would actually be nice because it would give like a little subtle Heat. bit of spice of heat yes. very subtle yeah and a little bit more just a touch more flavor but this is very flavorful and delicious so good mm. okay friends so for our third and final crock pot recipe this week we are having breakfast for dinner tonight so you already know i am super excited because breakfast is my favorite meal of the day and to go along with our breakfast we're going to make a hash brown casserole in the crock pot it is going to be so simple and then later tonight when this is done we'll make some eggs as well as some pancakes and that sounds absolutely delicious if you ask me so i'm going to flip you guys around show you what's going to be in this hash brown casserole and then we will get it in the crock pot and get it cooking this one only takes about three hours so and not as long as the other ones you can kind of do it at the end of the day or this would be great for just like a weekend if you want to have a big breakfast with your family this is going to be your go-to recipe okay so for this recipe you're going to want to use like the shredded hash browns and the actual recipe calls for one entire bag but since it's just me and bunky of course i'm going to half this recipe but i will leave the exact one with exact measurements down below for you guys so i'm going to go ahead and add in half of these hash browns i lied first i'm going to go ahead and spray this with some pam so it doesn't stick Okay, now we can add in hash browns. Okay, and then to that, we're gonna add in half a cup of sour cream. If you're doing the whole bag, do one cup. Half a cup of milk. One tablespoon of ranch seasoning. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. Some black pepper okay now here's where I'm doing it the easy way I'm gonna add in this entire bag of the real bacon bits if you want to fry bacon and crumble it and put it in here you can totally do that but this is such a great easy shortcut 
And here is my next shortcut. So if you want to shred your own cheese, you totally can. I'm just gonna use what's left of this bag of this extra sharp cheddar. And then I'm also going to kind of tear up two pieces of these just Velveeta cheese slices. To me, this cheese just makes anything so rich and creamy, I love it. So I know it'll be really good in here. So that's the cheese I'm gonna use, but you use whatever you have on hand. Okay, I'm gonna give this a big stir and then we will pop our lid on and let it cook on high for three hours. Okay, so it's been about three hours. This is basically done. I took a bite, it tastes so good. I am gonna top it with just a little bit more shredded cheddar cheese to kind of make it look really pretty and ooey gooey on the top. I'm gonna pop a lid on and just keep it kind of on warm while we make our scrambled eggs and pancakes. Okay y'all, I have this really fun idea and I think it's gonna be so cool. So, my idea is if you have a favorite crock pot recipe, one you like make all the time, it is your go-to, I want you to leave it down below in the comments. Tell us what it is and then if you're able to, type up the recipe. That way we can all go down there, read through them, get some great dinner ideas for our family. I think it would be so fun to see what y'all's favorite crock pot Hot recipes are and then you never know I may pick a couple of them and make them in a video and give you a shout out I think that would be so cool just to read through and get some new recipe ideas so if you have one leave a comment down below and tell us what it is and by the way did you catch that epic pancake flip I was so proud of that and if you're wondering where in the heck Bunky's food is he was upstairs working on a few things for us so I just waited for him to be done before I made his eggs and pancakes so they wouldn't be cold but y'all this was such a yummy breakfast for dinner okay y'all breakfast is served and does this not look so good i tried to show you this hash brown casserole in the crock pot but it was like so dark over there you really couldn't see it but let me tell you it tastes so good this would be such a great recipe for like thanksgiving morning christmas morning you can pop it in there right when you wake up and then by the time everybody else wakes up it is ready to go perfect for like a good cozy breakfast I am about to devour this. This is like my favorite meal ever, ever, ever. I'm so excited. So that was super simple and definitely a keeper. I will make that over and over again. That breakfast for dinner was so good. I could literally eat breakfast three times a day for any meal. Like I just love it so much. And even Bunky said the hash brown casserole was so good. And y'all know he isn't the biggest fan of potatoes, but even he loved it. So you guys are gonna have to try it and tell me what you think. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. Thank you for hanging out with us this week. We had so much fun in the kitchen. And I hope you got lots of great crock pot meal inspiration for you and your family. Leave me a comment and tell me which one you are most excited to make. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you so very much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.